Hello everyone, in this video, I would like to introduce the back of TwinKai 3, the basic motion control command. They are power on, reset, home, and jog. They are the basic motion control command. With those motion control command, we can use the jog and we can control our axis. In the previous video, I introduced how can we use the curve to monitor the position and the speed. In this trend, the blue curve that is the velocity, and the green curve, that is the actual position, and this red, that is a not moving signal. Leverage this curve function once we program the motion control command, and once we jog or control or fire the axis, so we can use the trend, or we can use the commissioning panel at here. We can monitor the actual position of the axis. And in this test, I will use this virtual axis and setting an axis as a virtual axis. So basically, from this setting, we do not need to select anything. So by default, this axis will be a virtual axis. But after we program the motion control command, we will connect the link to PLC here. We will connect that variable as an axis variable. So that motion control command will connect it to this virtual axis. All right, let's go to the PLC side and let me show how can we program the power, reset, home, and the draw command. And to program the motion control command, personally, I would prefer using the ladder logic style. So let's go to the PLC side. And at this POUs here, let's right click, click add. And let me select POU. I will firstly set up one program here and we can call that motion control. I name it motion control, that is a program. And this language is a structure test. And I will use this motion control program call other motion control program, okay? So from this main, we can call this motion control command. So using this way allows the main call this program, motion control, okay? And inside this motion control, under here, we can create the method. So the method will be the main function. We will program the motion control command at here. So let's create a method. Okay. I will select the ladder logic style, LD. And the name, I will name it a single axis. And this ladder logic, so I will add this as a fix here. So we will program the motion control command as a ladder logic style under this, at this method here. Okay, and here we will call the motion control command. From here, let's firstly add one network, insert one network. And from this second network, at here we will call the motion control command. But before we call the motion control command, we need to insert the library into this project. So from this reference here, let's right click at a library. By default, we only have this standard system and the module. So we need to insert the MC motion control library. To implement the simple motion control command, basically we need this MC2 and this MC underscore drive. So I will firstly select this MC2. Okay, right click, add library. Okay, let's add this MC2 drive. And other than this MC2, it would be nice we can add TC2 underscore utility because some command, we would add the command from that library. Okay, let's add this utilities. So after we add this library, go back to this method here, right click, click insert box. This time, let's go to browse TC2 MC2 and find out this MC underscore reset under this administrative this command mc underscore reset and when you call this function block here it will automatically pop up this instant db so the system will indicate us here we need to declare one instant db here but i will declare this instant db after because personally still i will declare the instant db at this global variable list here the variable within this global variable list we can use everywhere. Sometimes in other program or other method, we need to use this uh, instant DB tag. I will prefer declare this instant DB at this global variable list. 
we will declare a lot of variables under this global list. I will show this after. We will firstly drag those four important function block at here. So first one, that is MC reset. So next one, let's insert network below. At here, right click, insert box. And next one, we will select the power. This will be used to power up the access. Same thing, we will temporarily put here. Delete this instant DP here. Okay, next one, below. Okay, insert box. And MC home. Motion, homing, MC home. So this MC home is under this POU motion and homing here. Click home. Okay, get it here. And next, insert network below. Insert box. And we will select this manual motion. At this manual motion, we will insert this MC jog. Basically, this MC jog function block will be used to manually control the access, especially if we have a HMI. Usually on the HMI, we have a forward and the backward button. That forward and the backward button will be connected to this motion, uh, to this MC underscore jog function block. So we can use the button at the HMI to manually control the access. All right, here we quickly insert those four important function block here. And we will see as this uh, every function block, they have a common input. For example, they have an access here. That means we need to declare one variable. That variable is an access date type. Also, the function block, we have an enable, execute. And for this MC jog, we need the jog forward, jog backward. For those output, we can see they basically have those common output. For example, done, busy, active, command, error, error ID. It would be nice if we declare all those variables and connect them to those interface. So that means we need to declare the variables. The variable declaration looks very boring. That's why I would like to use one individual video to introduce the variable declaration. Especially I will introduce how can we use the DUT, the structure, to quickly build up one structure and then we can declare the variable based on this structure. So we can quickly build up the entire variable list. From my personal experience, we better declare all those variables before the motion automatic logic. Otherwise, every time you start to program, then you have to stop and declare the variable and then go back to program. Those back and forth will interrupt and destroy our thinking. So it would be nice to declare all those variables at first and then we can fully focus on the automatic logic. All right, in next video, I will mainly introduce how we can declare all those variables. Actually, they are very important. All right, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.